Many of you have asked me to explain Deleuze and Guattari's notion of the rhizome, so I'm going to do that for you here, but you have to chime in. Tell me, does this term actually help you understand the world? Does it help you understand your life? Is it applicable to your life? Can you, after hearing it, be like, wow, I can embrace this and embrace possibility and open up new avenues for my own life? It might do all those things. It might do none of those things, but let us know. So rhizome is super important in Deleuze and Guattari's work, but really most specifically in their text, The Thousand Plateaus, in which they lay out the fundamental differences between what they call a rhizome and what they call an arborescent structure or arborescence, where they say that a rhizome is like a root system, an asterisk, it's also not like a root system, but it's like a root system that does not follow any set plan. That is, it is spontaneous, it is chaotic, it just pursues its own routes. What is it, what it is interested in doing, where it is interested in going. There might be moments in which there's the right concentration of water and energy that it will form into like a bulb that will become a potato or something, sure. But in general, it is a system that is going to oppose any kind of trace ability. Now they oppose this to the idea of an arborescent structure, where they suggest that an arborescent structure, instead of embracing multiplicity and difference and possibility, is something that has settled upon itself and just then exists as itself. So the example they give for this is like a tree. A tree is something that just stands where it is and that's its life and that's amazing for the tree. But they want to give some room to evaluating the benefit of a rhizomatic lifestyle or acknowledging that as humans in our complexities, we are much closer to rhizomes than two trees, which on its own, that sentence taken out of context would make absolutely no sense. But their point is that instead of trying to reduce humans to easily measurable, quantifiable, traceable entities, we should instead embrace humans somewhat in their chaos so that they can embrace all of the possibilities that really allow humans to be humans. So they use this idea to oppose Freudian psychoanalysis that they say, always reduces humans to this kind of arborescent structure, reducing them to their experiences with their parents when they were kids or to their psyche, instead of embracing all of the other parts about what makes a human a human. So what do you think about this? Like, do you think that this rhizome idea is something you can just like adopt, try to embrace possibility, run out into the woods or the streets and just do whatever you want? Like it might be, I'd love to hear about it. On that note, take care.